We receive a lot of questions surrounding how to build accurate and efficient waterfall promote structures in Microsoft Excel. In this live financial modeling session we are going to build a dynamic waterfall model with a return of capital, preferred return, catch up, and single tier promote starting from a blank Excel sheet. You can follow along with the video to build the model for yourself. The completed model is available for free through the link in our bio. Let's start off by laying out the investment structure assumptions. The required assumptions include the limited partner preferred return, return of capital and preferred return split, the catch-up split, the promote split, and the general partner investment in the limited partner. We apologize if this video is slower than typical, but we want to show step-by-step step how to build this type of waterfall including formatting so that at the end of this video you have a credible and investor-worthy model ready to use and share with stakeholders. Please note the yellow fill with blue font cells are for input assumptions. These assumptions will flow through the calculations and allow the model to be dynamic for a variety of analysis situations. We will use 7.5% as the preferred return distributed fully to the limited partners, a 50 50 ths catch-up, and a 75 20 ths promote split between the limited and general partners. We will also include a 5% general partner investment in the limited partnership. We will build the model on a three-year basis. This live financial model video may seem slow, but we want to show step-by-step step including all the minor detail formatting to show you exactly how to build an institutional quality waterfall model. The starting point of our model is net cash flow before the promote. This model can be applied to a variety of industries, such as real estate or private equity investments. We are avoiding fees outside of the promote in this model for simplicity. Let's start by throwing in some net cash flow figures for illustrative purposes. The key to this model is that the calculations will work for a variety of assumptions, so feel free to play around with assumptions and tailor to our needs. We will use internal rate of return and multiple of capital as our metrics throughout this model. Remember, at this point in the model we are calculating the pre-promote internal rate of return and multiple of capital. We are formatting as we go to ensure we have a ready-to-use waterfall model at the end of this session. Next up we are going to prepare a schedule of the capital account. The schedule will have five categories, consisting of the opening balance, accrued preferred return, drawn capital from investors, capital repaid to investors, and the ending balance of the capital account. The opening balance is equal to the prior year ending balance. The accrued preferred return is equal to the opening balance multiplied by the preferred return assumption. Please remember the opening balance is the opening balance of the equity account. The preferred return is paid on invested equity meaning that the equity account balance can grow if the investment does not have positive cash flow and it can reduce if the investment does have positive cash flow. Please also note the preferred return is being accrued for payment in the exit year. Drawn capital is equal to the minimum of the net cash flow and zero. You will only draw investor capital if it is needed. You will know capital is needed when cash flow is negative. Taking the minimum of the net cash flow and zero will trigger when capital needs to be drawn from investors. Repaid capital is equal to the minimum of the absolute value of current outstanding net capital drawn which is equal to the sum of the opening balance, accrued preferred return, and periodic drawn capital, and the maximum of the net cash flow and zero. 
This formula says that the positive net cash flow will be repaid to investors to the point where the limited partner investors receive their invested capital back as well as their preferred return. The ending balance is equal to the sum of the schedule from opening balance to repaid capital. You know the schedule is completed correctly when the ending balance is equal to zero. The value of zero means that investors have received return of their invested capital as well as the preferred return. We will add in the total sum of accrued preferred return, drawn capital, and repaid capital as it is used in calculation of the catch-up. Our next line in the waterfall model is calculation of the cash available for catch-up. The calculation for the cash available for catch-up is equal to the difference between the net cash flow and the net capital drawn. To check your math to this point in the model, ensure that the sum of year 3 repaid capital and the cash available for catch-up is equal to the year 4 net cash flow. Next we will calculate the catch-up. A catch-up clause makes the general partner whole so their incentive fee is a function of total return and not solely on the return in excess of the preferred return. The catch-up is calculated as the minimum of the cash available for catch-up and the return of capital and preferred return prorated distribution multiplied by the total accrued preferred return less the limited partner promotes share multiplied by the total accrued preferred return divided by the difference between the limited partner promotes share and catch-up. At this point you have now calculated the catch-up and all that remains is the promote tier cash flow then an allocation to limited partners and general partners to determine investor realized returns. Time to calculate the cash available for promote. This is a simple calculation equal to the remaining available cash flow following the return of capital, preferred return, and catch-up. Let's build in a check on our math to ensure we are balanced. We know the repaid capital equal to the return of capital and preferred return plus the cash available for catch-up is equal to the year 3 net cash flow, so the cash available for catch-up less the catch-up less the promote tier must be equal to zero. Our check confirms we are balanced. Next we will calculate the limiter partner returns. The line items needed to calculate the LP return are the return of capital and preferred return tier, the catch-up tier, and the promote tier. The sum of these three items will generate the net cash flow for LP return purposes. The return of capital and preferred return is equal to the sum of drawn and repaid investor capital from the first schedule we prepared. The catch-up cash flow is equal to the catch-up tier multiplied by the LP share of the catch-up. The promote tier is equal to the cash available for promote tier multiplied by the LP share in the promote. The net cash flow for LP investors is equal to the sum of the return of capital and preferred return, catch up, and promote. Continuing with our return metrics, we calculate the LP internal rate of return and multiple of capital. The LP return schedule and metrics are now complete and we will move on to the GP level. The GP return schedule begins with the LP investment line item, followed by the catch-up, 
and finishes with the promote tier line item. We will sum these items to get the net cash flow for return purposes. The LP investment is equal to the return of capital and preferred return line item from the LP return schedule multiplied by the GP investment in the LP assumption. The catch-up line item is equal to the catch-up tier multiplied by the GP share of the catch-up tier. The promote line item is equal to the promote cash flow tier multiplied by the GP share of the promote tier. The sum of the LP investment, catch up, and promote line items generates the GP level net cash flow. We will finish the model by calculating the GP level internal rate of return and multiple of capital. We kept this example simple with no GP level fees outside of the promote. If your situation involves management fees or other incentives, they would be deducted from the LP cash flow to generate the net cash flow to LPs as the starting point of the model and added to the GP level cash flow. The ultimate effect of fees will be lower LP returns and higher GP returns. Congratulations you have successfully built a waterfall model with a catch up and promote tier. This model is a great resource to use for investment analysis as well as for job interview or academic case studies. Please visit the link in our bio to download this model for free from our website.